Larry, I want to start with you, play a little game, Goldilocks. If it's too hot, too cold, or just right, how did the Fed get it this week? I don't think that it was sensible to have a G7 meeting talking all about global cooperation, conclude with no acts of global cooperation, and two hours later have the Fed act unilaterally. I think the Fed, by moving 50 basis points out of sequence when there wasn't a meeting, something that was virtually without precedent, um, it's only happened two or three times in the last uh, quarter century, they left the impression that they must be alarmed about something, so people outside the Fed should be alarmed as well. That's not their mandate to calm things down. And they raised the concern about the efficacy of their tool. They only had 150 basis points left, if that. They dissipated 50 basis points, plus all the extra noise around moving between meetings. And they didn't really do anything that stabilized markets, which were falling faster after they acted than they did before. And so they would have been much better advised to move more slowly, to use their tool as a kind of sword of Damocles. Now they've fired off much of their weapons to no evident effect, and that can't make people feel better about the situation uh, that we're in. So it was not a particularly good week for the Fed.